Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I welcome you to my new amazing project CAPTCHA verification. So in this we are going to use HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So it is a very simple project and it will generate the random CAPTCHA and we have to fill in this input field and we have to verify and when we verify it will show the icon according to the correct and incorrect input and it will give the a error or success message so let's try it so first of all we refresh it so when we refresh it generate another random captcha so we'll fill it for in caps we have h1 a 7 l when you verify see it given this success mark sign mark that it's correct and you have entered the correct captcha with the color green if i try to in place of l i write 7 okay so it's showing this error icon so the cross icon so you have entered the wrong captcha so when you enter the correct captcha it will give the you have entered correct captcha so this how our project is working so let's go to our vs code before that if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe us so let's start with the html file so in our html file we have a title custom beautiful captcha verification so here we have linked our style.css file which you can see here our CSS file now we have linked our font icon so for fonts so we have using this font font poppins for our project then in our body we have a div with class container in a container we are going to make another div and in this div we are going to write the class title with the captcha verification text so here you can see that in this beautiful white color div we have another div with this text captcha verification so now in another div we have taken a id captcha with class captcha to generate the captcha so here in this beautiful box the captcha will be generated so now we have an input box and class input, id input and placeholder enter the captcha which you can see here and I clear it it will in placeholder it's written enter the captcha ok so now we have a button with class button, id button and we have a text verify and in this we have a icon for icon check check means sign if our message is success then it will give the check icon and we have a hidden property also so when uh, our uh, message will give error means if we have written the incorrect captcha then it will show the another icon that is cross icon so for that we have a another icon that fa times so in this also we have given hidden so according to the input it will show the icons if our message or input we have given is correct and it will match to our captcha then it will give the check icon if it's not it will give the times icon so now we have another div with class message and id message so in this it will give this message if our captcha is correct or incorrect now here we have use font for icons 
before that we have used the font family and then here we have linked our javascript file which you can see here so now come for our css file we are going to style our project so for our page we have a box sizing border box and then for body we have a font family poppins and sensory if poppins will not work then it will automatically go for sensory then we have a background linear gradient which you can see for our page then we have a class container which you can see here we have seen before the class container in this we have already defined the width margin padding and border radius which you can see the margin and padding for our div if you know css it's very easy to design and custom our project then we have beautiful box shadow and background white which you can see for our this beautiful div now for title we have a text align center font size and then we have font bold and color of the text which you can see here then we have a style our captcha which will generate randomly when our window reload so now in captcha class we have a display flex and align item center justify content center to make it in a center and a margin 20 pixel and zero and we have a padding 10 pixel and a border radius 5 pixel and a background linear gradient which you can see here for our this captcha so we have a color of the text font size font weight letter spacing the space between the letters and then i have used filter blur so so little bit if uh, why you are going to use captcha verification to verify human beings so in many website they use captcha verification and they make the captcha little blur or messy so that that robot can't identify so that a human can verify and enter to the website so for that so now we have a class input so when you input the position should be relative with 100 percent padding 10 pixel and a border and then we have border radius then we have outline none and then font size 20 pixel and color of the text and margin button these are the very simple CSS according to your needs you can style it then we have a when you focus the background color will be this and the color text will be this so when I focus so it will change the color so now for button we have position absolute with 7.2 rm then we have padding border none and a background linear gradient and a color of the text then we have font size font weight and cursor pointer margin 1 are 1 pixel from the top margin let minus 7.27 rm for our button which you can see here we have placed our button here now for when you put a hover on our button so see a beautiful inset so a beautiful inset box side will appear and uh, for icons we have a margin left and font size so it will appear when we type uh, input and we we'll go for submit then we have a hidden class for display none and then we have a color for success green and for either red so now come for our javascript file here is the main code how our project is going to work so first of all we have generated a function generate captcha in this function we have a, initially we have a captcha is empty and we have now declare a let variable using chairs okay so here we have a 
generate captcha function in this function we have initially our captcha is mpt and then for cat we have given some random text and numbers then in our for loop we have going for less than 6 up to 5 iteration so 0 to 6 means its number of letter will appear 6 only so because it is starting from 0 so now for captcha it will generate the random characters from this according to the character length so and after generating that six digit captcha including the numbers also it will return the captcha and in this captcha variable so now for displaying the captcha on the page so for displaying we have a function display captcha and we have let captcha equal to generate captcha so whatever the captcha we have generated that is stored in our captcha this captcha variable then document dot get element by id so we are going to get our id captcha so in our html file we have id captcha so in our div we are going to place our captcha using inner html and whatever the random captcha we have generated using this function it will store in our inner.html and it will display then for checking the captcha we have a declare a variable using let input dot value so whatever the input we have given that value will be stored in this variable and then for the inner dot html whatever the random captcha will generate that we have stored in our captcha variable then for our check so when our um, captcha input is correct then it will give the check icon then for times icon means cross icon so for that we have this and then for message that you have entered a wrong captcha or now we have a if condition if input equal to captcha then then the input is correct so for that we have a check dot class list dot remove hidden so it will not be hidden so hidden property we have a hidden class so display none so it will remove means not display means this property will be false so when our cap input is correct it will display the icon that check icon now we have written the hidden class for displaying none for our times class because we have a times icon will should should be hidden when our captcha is correct then we have a message dot inner html it will give the message you have entered the correct captcha then it will add as class list success and remove the error so our captcha verification is success when it is wrong now in else condition then we have add the hidden property for our check means check icon will be hidden and then the times icon that is cross icon will be displayed and it will give the a message you have entered a wrong captcha and it will give the error and it will remove the success now how our display captcha will display on our web page so when the page loads so for that window dot on load it's a property on this property we are going to display our captcha now for add a event listener to our button so when we click on button it will check the captcha so that's it for our javascript file so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project thank you